time for an experiment. Um, I've actually never used the YouTube app itself to record a video. And so I am trying it. I did this uh, normally. I just take the um, camera, point it at myself, and record. And so now I've got the YouTube app and I set it to record and uh, the only difference I seem to see is it's got tenths of a second in the uh, counter. Let's me uh, choose the camera. It doesn't let me switch cameras. That's what I'd really like to be able to do is to be able to switch cameras while recording just like I do when I am doing a FaceTime type conversation. So that would be a, a nice enhancement for YouTube or Apple. Um, anybody out there with an Android? Can you do that with an Android? Can you switch your cameras during during a recording of a video and otherwise uh, you see in the back of my steering wheel there um, hopefully the sun glinting through here isn't too bad I didn't plan on that for some reason I thought that the Sun would be not a problem but I'm used to doing these videos in the morning I usually do the video in the morning when the Sun is on that side and right now it's in the afternoon I got to drive home because um, they're building the house next door, or actually completing the house next door, and there's some work in our backyard for the fence between the property, so I left that dog in the house. And then it's like, oh, got the dog in the house, I gotta go home and let her out, because it's been a long time for her. So, um, part two of this video, maybe I'll, uh, I think I've done Lucy already, but maybe I'll do Lucy again just to have something else in this video. See the fence that they're working on. And yes, that's a very big, tall house next to us. But came home and they were still working. Um, hopefully there'll be some landscaping done by the developer here to make up for what he took out. We had a fence there before. They've moved a bunch of dirt over here where the grass wasn't growing anyhow. All that used to be stored back there um, all those bricks the hope is that I can use all those bricks and either widen this path here or by the side of the house there aren't any bricks fly the trash can there all the way down so put bricks all the way down and then if I still have more I could widen this path through here with the other bricks um, back here they got to put a drain in. We've got our little walkway. It's all been, this has all been dirt during the construction, but they're going to put a drain in there and uh, get it all working. And uh, so that big house, little tiny house, but our house was built in 1947. This house built in 2016. That's what you get. Uh, we just trimmed the tree for the yeah, every two years we do it, I'd say. But see, we do have actual grass. Grass grows through here pretty well. I use a uh, push lawnmower to do all that. And uh, that's our old little house. And you can see that tree, when we did this almost 20 years ago, 18 to 20 years, I don't remember exactly, we had like three, four inches clearance around that tree to the deck, and now you can see not much room. And the idea can't get, can't get far enough away. But not a whole lot of sun certain times of the day. You can see that the sun's, yeah, that's the shadow side. The shadow goes to there, but... Um, definitely going to be a big difference here but should help our property values because that house is going to go for well over two million dollars I'm sure now that I'm headed southbound let's see how the video quality works well, it's got a little bit of a curve so you can see my steering wheel but uh, this is on the way back now um, I had to actually take the dog for a walk I couldn't leave her in the backyard because the developer was still working uh, looks like he's following up on his promise to finish putting a drain in in the backyard. Uh, 
he had to you know, be in our yard a lot for putting in a fence and they had their garage. Uh, the house, you know, it's a couple of kind of tight neighborhoods. So the garage itself uh, of that, of the neighboring house is our side wall. Uh, theoretically, the property line, there's about a foot between the garage and the property line, but it doesn't make sense to build another wall that's, you can't even get between the house and the wall. So, um, they just cut off his wall, angle it into the garage, and then his garage goes along the side. But that's an area where water will build up, and uh, so there needs to be a drain there, since he put a cinder block wall at the end. So, he promised he would do that. Um, the house is going to be open, I believe, in a day or two. So he had to do it now, while he still has crew. Uh, the big thing is that he to, uh, let's see, I think today they're like staging the house and tomorrow they're going to wash the windows and get the photos taken and Thursday is going to be the brokers open. So the house is really, you know, up and for sale this week. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how fast it sells. Um, he's had others that have sold very quickly and others that have taken a couple weeks. Uh, there's one in my neighborhood that's been for sale for months, not his. And so the question is, has he priced it appropriately for the market? Um, I think his timing is good. The uh, economy is still doing well. If, you know, at some point he's going to build a house and the economy will take a turn and he's going to lose money on it. And that's the problem with real estate development is you make money, you make money, you make money, and then boom, you lose. And as long as you've got reserves and you can deal with it, that's fine. I've known developers who basically when that happens is, okay, well, I'm going to now live in that house that I just built, sell my other one, and uh, I'll stay here until the market starts to recover, and in the meantime, do a bunch of remodeling work and work with third parties and things like that. But uh, now I'm going southbound along the Esplanade, and uh, so it's going to have bright sun coming in right here. The sun's about that angle, which is why you've got a little bit of shadow there. it for now and uh, I'm headed off back to work now that the dog is safely taken care of and the pedestrians don't trust that I'm stopping for them even though I'm going two miles an hour coming up to the intersection but that's pedestrians